Hi, and welcome to the Margie and Lisa show. I'm Margie Wigan. And I'm Lisa Jackson. Yep, and we're very happy tonight to have with us the fabulous Dan McIntyre and his wonderful daughter, Colleen Roy. <laughs> so we are really excited to have you guys come and talk with us about the Horribles Parade 2018. I saw yep. the um, I saw the thing in the uh, Hopkinton Independent says yeah. "United We Stand." That's, right. Love That's it. the yep. theme for the year. So yes. thanks for having us. We yeah. appreciate oh, you yeah. coming and talking I about it. I love the Horribles Parade. I was I was telling my family who are visiting from Idaho what the Horribles Parade is all about, and I'm like, you know, it's like political satire a little bit, and like people in town, and and yeah. then there's a giant water fight, and everybody sit with their hoses, <laughs> and they. <laughs> Kind of hard to explain. Yeah, I don't, I don't know when yeah. the water. I don't know when the water fight. Came yeah, out. I was trying to figure out. They're like, when did the water fight come in? How late nineties? Yeah. Late nineties? Is that when it started? Yeah. yeah. So when when was the original Horribles Parade? The first one. Do you know? Was, it started during the Depression in, in the thirties. In the thirties. By so, your grandfather, who was? My grandfather. Yes. Colleen's great grandfather. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On their on their house on Pleasant Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so are they on the corner there, or? Nope. No, no, they're up the street a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So was it a shorter Horribles Parade? No, it was the same route. It, yeah. It's, we've kept it, does it pretty that constant block. for, uh, for it? what, almost uh, well, 90 years? It now. started years. just Pleasant Street, and then for a couple of years, it used to always start at Pleasant Street, and then it would go all the way down to Woodville, and then there was like oh. a big cookout, a point ride, all that. That was, oh. I didn't go to that. He you might have. Uh, he might. I don't know if I, but I, I was didn't. pretty little back yeah. then. So he doesn't remember. But <laughs> our, our homestead was down on Wood Street, where the 495 is. Oh, okay. Oh, no kidding. So, so that's a long. Where the um, Mashimin Center is, or is yes. that here? Because I know you have you have a you still have business in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right. My brother's business is back. That's where we used to live. Back. Our house yeah. is back there. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. The so whole we used to all come back, back there then. and they'd have a big picnic back. So the whole town would go back and have. Oh, that's so cool. And we had horse rides. <laughs> That's awesome. We need to bring that back, you know. Do we know anyone with horses? Uh, yeah, we do. Oh, Lisa, I know four horses. horses. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> chickens, and yeah. <laughs> so. But the horrible parade is, is something. A few communities still have it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Gloucester has a big one. There's, they there's do, a big yeah. one down in Rhode Island. Yeah. Um, but Hopkins changed a lot since the 1930s, and oh yeah, mm -hmm. a well, lot since, since even when I was a kid. Yeah, exactly. Even since we moved here. Yeah. So we're trying, we're trying, we're trying to keep ago. small yeah. town traditions alive, even though I think it's great. Um, it's getting smaller you. each year, but we're trying to keep it alive. Is it? So do you know why? Yeah, why is it called the Horribles Parade? Can you start with that for those of us who don't know? That that is just a, kind of a moniker it got because they. It's like it's political satire. Right. Mm -hmm. to try so to, making fun try of Try to do something different, kind of yeah. the opposite of a of a pretty Fourth of July parade. Oh, okay. That's ah, what I wanted that's to know. Origin. So it's the opposite. It's an anti pretty. Yeah. It's a New England thing, too. You're yeah. not going to find them yeah, anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and that's good country. to know. Yeah. So, because I didn't realize that Gloucester does it, and mm -hmm. which other towns you said? There's a big one in Rhode Island. I can't I remember no which idea. one in Rhode Island. Bristol, maybe. But I know Might they do Bristol, a big yeah. Uh, yeah. Fourth of July oh, right. thing. I've been down but there. But Hopkins we is, is the best. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. So, tell us about tell us about the trucks that you have signed up. Do you know what who's... Well, there's going to be a big dental float this year, which <laughs> I'm excited about. A dental um, float? Yep, yep. One Are you local, a dentist? One of the local businesses. I wish I was a dentist. Uh -huh. I wish he was a dentist, too. <laughs> I'm a you have dentist. Beautiful, you have beautiful teeth. Yeah, I can thank him for that. Um, <laughs> uh, twice. So, so yeah, is it going to be a tooth? Or is it, do you know what the float looks like? I do know, because I'm building it. So it's going to be, um, So wait. Know, so give us a description from beginning to end of how do you build a float. Okay. How do you do that? Well, you've, for this particular float, I'm getting a trailer, and someone's going to haul it with their pickup truck. Mike Beatty's going to drive it for us this year. Thanks, <laughs> nice. Mike. Yay, awesome. Mike. Um, and then you just kind of wing it mostly. Uh, we're going to use some two-by-fours to build like a little frame and throw a tarp up there for shade. And then <laughs> my uh, husband works at a company that can get a lot of cardboard, so we have a ton of cardboard right now. And mostly right. it's just cardboard you paint up and right. whatever you up. come up with. Okay, and so what happens when that gets wet? Does that 
sag or fall or flop or it can um so and that's fun it, to it, the fun it yeah does. so but so last year we actually brought um introduced a water free section so if the floats don't want to participate in the water to stay Aww. dry and have it nice so this this float's going to be a water free float because uh, there's going to be smaller kids that that gets more people participating yeah, right. sure mm -hmm. um but there'll be plenty of floats that do have water and you you attack them and you leave those alone <laughs> and that's how that works well it's kind of ironic because it's teeth and you wash teeth. And yeah, you, you definitely yeah. want and to keep dry. it. And it's dry. It's a dry. Like a I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll be throwing out candy. <laughs> right. It's, it's super. Right. It's yeah. like there's it's all. Horrible. It yeah, it's horrible. horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Right. Oh, so the candy's horrible too because the you're giving fun. the kids all the sugar and then, yeah. yeah. Job yeah. security yeah. though. See Nobody's going to yeah, brush perfect. their teeth. You'll come see me later. It'll be great. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so but, about the other floats. But you don't even have to build a float. You can just participate. Right. Yeah. We had one year we had couple of women walk dressed up as what were they dressed up as? They, they so were, maybe like, me and my nephews Kazoo will go in the front. Yeah. Can we rip stick one. in the parade? Sure. Oh, I sure. saw <laughs> Denise and Taki and her husband, is it David? Yeah, yeah. Dressed the, up. Yeah. She was dressed up as a big baby, I think. Was yeah. it with the big head? <laughs> the big head, yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> That's what and I what was, was trying he to dressed, He was dressed up as something, <laughs> he too. He had a big mask or something, Big mask. Too. Right, so they, and she yeah. is mm -hmm. such she yeah. has such great spirit. Yeah. You know, she'll just yeah. put anything on and walk anywhere and she do anything. The whole she room. ran yeah. the marathon. She hadn't done that, and yeah. she was raising money for her class of 2018 because oh, right. her son just graduated. So there's a picture of a one year little kid just decorated his car. Oh, and his mom love and him just his little. little that's you know, so it's, cute. it's that easy to build a float. You yeah. don't have to have a big, crazy right. thing. Sure. So anybody Anything with can wheels, yeah. or they could yeah. even walk in the yeah. parade. You can walk right. it. I think I got mm -hmm. cars in here. Did somewhere. you get mine? Okay. <laughs> Very yeah. cool. So we're gonna hold up Here's a few your pictures ah. from the from the Is this from Lukey's? archives. Is this Lukey's pictures? I think that's uh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, the 4H, the 4H yeah. club. But even just like a pickup truck. Sure. Right. Yeah, I recognize those kids. <laughs> yes. Are you in that, that picture? Yes, that is me. <laughs> How did I know yes. that? That is awesome. Look at the truck. Yeah, but it's that that easy. You just decorate something and it's awesome. That's yep. awesome. So the route now starts at, at Pleasant Street. No. Nope. Starts on the common. Yes. Okay, the common. it goes up and it takes right. it right on Pleasant Street. So you well, it goes up to Grove Street. Oh, goes up, yeah. Yep. Where, where uh, uh, the school is right there. Yeah. Tennis okay. courts. Yeah. And takes a takes a right down to Grove, and then on to Pleasant. Yep, and, oh, then, okay. back and then back around to the. the yeah. Okay, so it goes to the corner, and then. We did the Horribles yeah. Parade one year with my truck, and we literally had garbage cans full of water balloons yep. and water with super soakers. So you're the one that started it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was it had to be because Celia, so it had to be like 2005, 2006. Yeah, water was pretty big by yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, water was pretty big, and I'm like, this is gonna be awesome. Yep. You know, and was so the candy always part of it? Or candy's that, always part yeah. of that, I know. Yeah, candy's always part Because the kids of it. love that. Oh, my yeah. gosh, yeah. they're scrabbling all over there. But to, just to talk about how times have changed, back in the 70s, yeah. when I was a kid, they had they had the beer full where they had just things <laughs> of beer, <laughs> and they would hand out <laughs> cups like, of beer to the, to the people walking by. So. I don't think we're Can't get away with that, that anymore. Yeah. yeah. No. But it was back in that the day. That was pretty horrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was pretty horrible. It went along with the theme. You right. Were, you were just trying to support the theme. Help the horribleness. Yeah. 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 So. Appropriate. So what? So what is your favorite float over the years? Or favorite image of what? I think uh, all the ones that I have done. I think of my favorite. <laughs> right, of course. But well, not, which not, one was your? Favorite not everybody float? gets my sense of humor. That's so. sad. We're all laughing. We, we, we try to uh, try to pick a topic, a local topic, and kind of. Um, pick Are up you that giving a it away bit. this year? Well, I don't know. Uh, the Margie and Lisa show, <laughs> or, or the Pulse of Hockey Festival. Yeah. <laughs> yes. what, what, you got any good? What's that? What was the You're top gonna need story a this year? Blonde wig. Oh, oh yeah, you remember my? <laughs> do you remember my <laughs> float? Short, short Doesn't look wig. like a wig. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. For you, because yeah. you would have to be. Right. 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 Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, we do Margie and Lisa. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a. <laughs> Does that go on for long? No. Okay. Wow, so that's a lively it's flag. Yeah, it sure is, yeah. It's, it's pretty, pretty patriotic. So okay, United is a the theme. United just stand as So we, we should yeah. tell the public that anybody can participate Absolutely. in the parade because yeah. they don't know that. So Just show yeah. up to the, yeah. to the common around quarter of 12 
and we'll fit you right in. Yep. Yeah. So, if you want to be water free, you can be water free too. Yep. That's good. So we have a comment here. I'm not sure who it's from. It <laughs> says, uh -oh. I heard the kids were bored and Dan's grandfather got paper out of the barn and had the kids decorate the bikes and, and do a parade for the family. Yeah, that's super, that's super This might that be exactly Matt right. Matt yeah. Lightstone <laughs> writing this yes. and I'm not Could sure be. who would be doing <laughs> this. Uh, that is correct. Yes. yes. Yep. So I'm going to read that again. I heard the kids were bored and Dan's grandfather got paper out of the barn and the kids decorated the bikes and did a parade for the family. That is so cute. Yeah. My that grandfather is. used to work at the Denison down in Framingham. Denison. And they made paper and he, he had ah, lots of paper to bring home. That's perfect. perfect. Yeah. That is perfect. Yeah. I love it. Oh, might have been Mike Tarosian who laid that comment. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He's You got a big audience out there. We do oh, have yeah. an audience, and the audience I'm can not come in. Right <laughs> so, so, what was the most politically like, well, I know horrible? A couple years ago, when CVS was everywhere and oh, everything yes. anti, so yeah, I made fun of that a little bit and said all the candy was donated by CVS. <laughs> oh, because everybody was no CVS. And then I saw CVS the mommy and... groups and everybody. I took that candy away. It's like um, they didn't donate it. That, oh. I, I bought that candy. Oh. It yeah. was okay. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do this because it's yeah. CVS yeah. candy. Yeah. Right, but it was yeah. kind of like that's it's a joke. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. We and well, that's the point. Is the whole thing is a joke. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it shouldn't be taken yeah. seriously. And I, I think I can remember Board of Selectmen floats where there were actually people up there from the town offices. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then people squirted yeah. them too. Yeah. And um, <laughs> there used to be a whole judges stand down at Colella's too when right. oh, Lily yeah. and Lenny yeah. Holden ran it yeah. for a lot of years. Oh, so yeah. there was a big, um, and that was great because they would come around and do prejudging first on the common and then when you came around by Colella's and it was just nice and then you hand out trophies and that's we great. still have judges. They're hidden along the route. We can't uh, disclose yeah. their locations. But yeah, and last year, because I've I've been there from time to time along the along the over the years, twenty five years here, <laughs> and um, last year, I remember there were there are groups and sometimes neighborhoods right. that put a float together and yep. whatever their idea is. Right. Um, and I can't really remember who got the the awards last year, but there's usually something a little bit funny, a little bit maybe sarcastic or. Yeah or maybe poking fun at somebody, but mostly they are very spirited. Yeah, you know, exactly. there, there's a yeah. lot going yeah. on there. It yeah. wouldn't be, you Especially know, grandma kids. rocking on the chair. No, 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 no. That wouldn't, that wouldn't do <laughs> no. it. Not, I love grandmas rocking on chairs. I plan to do one. But it's good to, to have one. neighborhoods get together. Exactly. Right. And it's so I nice. actually was a subject of a float right after the Western Nurseries when we lost the, um, oh. the yeah, do you remember that? <laughs> no, but I'm remembering losing the vote. Yeah, and losing the vote. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. Yeah. Legacy, so, legacy and farm. it was a picture of me on a horse with a blonde wig, and it said, Happy Trails, <laughs> because I didn't. we fought to buy the land under 61A. Yeah. And ironically, my truck with all the kids with the water balloons was right in front of that truck. <laughs> so needless to say, the crowd did not get a lot of balloons, but the truck got <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Like, oh, yeah. Probably needed a car wash. Right. So we have another comment. Mm -hmm. This says, we need band floats. Oh. Band floats Fire are department good. takes the best music float every year, except when they lose to an ice cream truck. That's good. You yeah. did. Yeah. I wonder if Celia could pull together her friends with the band. Well, you don't the... even need a band. One year, a group of people got together with a bunch of kazoo's, and they yep. just walked it the whole time, and they were the kazoo band. They got a award. Yeah. It was great. That's awesome. So it's super easy. Do we, so it's next week, like yeah. less in a week. Yeah. Do we know Celia. what the weather is going to be? Do we have any idea? It's be beautiful. Yeah. So it is. I thought I saw and hot. And if it rains, who cares? Everybody's yeah. right, wet right. anyway. I thought you know? I saw hot. Um, in, like, Better for yeah. water fight. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. exactly. right. so. it wouldn't be good if it was raining. No, I remember yeah. a couple of parades we went to right. was a little chilly, yeah. so the water yeah. was a little yeah. bit. It wasn't as enthusiastic. And I think we canceled it one year because it was a tornado warning or something. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good call, yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah. yeah, so you're, yeah. you're yeah. yeah. So you're <laughs> not totally horrible. No, no. <laughs> no. We have lines. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and now we have some more people in the know. Awesome. Ed what? Flannery and <laughs> Stu Glassman Kazoo formed band. the 100 piece Kazoo okay, Band. Thank you very much. The 100 piece Kazoo Band. It was mysterious. It was pretty big. 
were, information they were supplier. All, uh, they yes. were all patrons of the the central, the tap house on Main Street. Oh, <laughs> and so the year that closed down, they did the kazoo. Oh, okay. Oh, so that was part of that. Yeah. And so what and songs did they born. play? Do you remember? Yeah. Was it appropriate? <laughs> central Pub. I don't but know. they when when they marched down Main Street. They marched in the central house. Back <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Of course, tribute. because yeah, yeah that's awesome. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be a new central house yeah. pub going in there. Yeah, I think if they we try have to again, talk to the arrested. owners about this yeah. tradition, make yeah. sure they understand. Yeah, keep it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at the horrible parade, just hand people out might the door. be yeah. kazooing through their property, and they just just have. I think I think the name at the central house. That's what. Yeah, central house pub. I think for marketing purposes, they should get kazoos to hand out. Exactly. Be huge. Yeah. Tell them. Yeah. They're yeah, watching yeah. now, I'm sure. We'll invite them yeah. in on the show. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And give them kazoos. So I'm, yeah. I'm looking for idea. What was the biggest story of the year? Do you, do you know? Yeah, in, our town. Yeah, in, town? in our town. Yeah. The dog park would be one thing. Yeah, the dog it's park would be kind it. of funny. Do you want yeah. it on the Hughes property or do you not want it on the Hughes property? Should it be on the Fruit Street property or no? Is that too far do away? Do dogs really need parks? Well, apparently, the, here's what here's what the some of the because I like to look up the articles. And, we had dogs. Um, I never took our dog on a plate. I look at yeah. well, well, that's it. Part that's of it is the new thing. You're out of, of the loop here. Right, you exactly. It's a play I date for the dog yeah. for their socialization, but it's really also you wait. Play date. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I think it is. We don't even have to it is. But it's for dogs. And it's also to provide opportunities for the owners of the dogs to to meet owners of other dogs. Oh, Do the dogs nice. have Facebook pages too? I don't know. I, mean, I know someone. I bet no. they do. Well, Rain name, nameless oh. that does have a Facebook page for her dog. Oh, oh yeah. So another, okay. another. And her family are. Her her name, so that would that would be a good one for like the uh, Blackthorn Circle neighborhood to do the dog park. Yes, yeah, so it could okay. be or it, right because they could walk down that, the street with poo bags. Right. Yeah. Hand them out. Yeah. <laughs> Collect your they candy. Even have a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, that's good. That's good reuse of. Of mm -hmm. uh, it's very ecological, I think. <laughs> so um, flooded town hall. Someone suggested. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Flooded yeah. town hall, huge story. <laughs> Relocating to 80 right. South Street. Oh, that would be that. kind of funny. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it's not funny. But well, what about the it's carnival? Horribly funny. I didn't realize the carnival was such a hot topic. I heard all about that from Celia and her friends. Right. So, so there was only for the people that live across. Yeah. The yeah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> it. But maybe yeah. we, we don't want horrible's neighbors to start piping up either. Right. And then last year for Center School again. Yeah, yeah. our oh, mysterious yeah. uh, information supplier. So that's another, <laughs> you know, hot topic that's this year. A, a lot one. of yeah. things came yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. So that's those good. would make great. All of them would make right. great. Right. Yeah. So people, yeah. come so you, you're not taking notes. Parade. What's up with that? Yeah, it's <laughs> all up here. Yeah, yeah. All up. you so. could just Nobody's watch. Nobody's gonna beat the watch this one, show yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Let's be honest. It's gonna be the best one. You should have like a giant rope in between the teeth. I'm not, not to give away any too many ideas, but it's, it's going to be good. Is it? I oh, can't yeah. wait. I'm going to be around. The other thing, um, I know I went to one time, had a water pick cleaning, and it yep. kind of went all over my face. Yeah, it does do that. Which yeah. I hated. And so that, I mean, you've already got the super soaker going on. Yeah. So to me, just, it's just the memories like the dentist, would all come flying right. back if there was water squirting at me off of a right. dental float. So, yuck. All and right, you're um, throwing candy. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you have to have the candy first. And then the, yeah. All right. Um, I also, uh, the information booth in the corner said um, <laughs> plastic tra trash bags. I can't even say it. And um, so that's kind of an issue. We've had some oh, stores. Right. I know um, Kmart. They voted to ban them, right? They voted yeah, to ban them, vote to ban right? Them. Yeah. So that's one thing. Although plastic straws are still not banned. That's right. the next thing. And um, no pot shops. That was a big thing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that might funny. make it yeah, that would be a good one. Yep. Yeah, I could come up with some ideas. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I think might happen on that. Uh, yeah. Float. yeah, but those are two of the other big news big stories. News, yeah, for yeah. marathon school for this year, which is right. Positive. Well, new center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, but yeah. yeah, fun, fun things. The library open. That's a nice library. Oh yeah, oh, library too. That's library. another one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you could make a giant book of cardboard. Maybe you should make fun of the elevator in that place. Yeah, don't go in. Yeah. Oh, is the elevator bad? I wouldn't go in it. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in there. How's the elevator? Fine. I went You're up lucky. and down, and I got out on the stairs floor and wanted to get out. Well, the, here's the here. I know I like the stairs better in general, but yeah, see, I but I think the problem with the elevator is that there are a lot of buttons to push, and some let you out 
and the back of the elevator, which is an employee floor, yep. and yeah. some are on the front of the elevator, which is the children's department, or are they down? So I think the buttons are a little confusing. That's may need a little bit. Yeah. May need a little yeah. bit better signage. Yeah. Going to the library tonight. They have a mentalist there. <gasps> I saw I'm, I'm that. heading there right after this. Are you? Oh, yes. What time? Seven. Well, it starts at seven. So yeah. they have a lot they always, going on at the put, library. You know what? I got to talk to them about putting good things on Wednesday nights because we can't go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a and terrible. And I always like the it's a terrible band. Are on Wednesday night, like when see my daughter plays in the band. I'm gonna ask her if her and her friends want to play. Yeah, have a play. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they do they march? Do yeah. they march? Sure, why not? That's getting kids involved too, because <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. the 300 but parade that was think, incredible. Yes, yeah. they think yeah. more about the you know like the water fight. But I mean, how hard is it to do the band? Oh, it'd yeah. be great. It would be yeah. great. Although you wouldn't want to get the instruments wet. No, so they could be part yeah. of the water free section. Yeah. So that's yeah. just so to be more inclusive and for if everybody. If they didn't want to walk, we right. could stick them on the back of the Or build a giant oh, umbrella. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. 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 Right. They're, they're guaranteed to win a trophy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to tell them. You should. I'm That's a, I love I'm gonna that. I'm going to her friends to do that. I love that. And they're so, all horns. So if any of on you... On the back of a pony. Yeah. On the oh. back of a pony. <laughs> That's a double award. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if the pony doesn't get spooked. Pony be like, like peeling through the <laughs> yeah, they're, they're playing the song like the... On the, um, the, run, the, run, the, run, the Titanic. The Titanic. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. We put the ponies to the back of the parade, though. That's probably wise, because water well, and what also, comes out Also, you don't want anyone oh, stepping yeah. on yeah. a little... Right. Good thinking. Tricky. Yeah. They're at the rear end of the of the <laughs> yeah. parade. Do we, yeah. we just probably need, like, a pony park with a right. dog. Right. <laughs> well, that's what <laughs> I said when we were talking yeah. about the dog park. I'm like, I want a horse park. Yeah. My Why not? Would like Maybe a the horse date. park could go to Fruit Street. Yeah. Because they have a lot of land there. They need to do something <laughs> with them. That Drop off your horse. Try to put... The school and there, they tried to put, <laughs> we put a, solar panels, solar there, panels there, all kinds of things yeah. Yeah. get voted down over there. So those of you watching, um, please feel free to call in, give us some ideas for floats, uh, comments, questions. And for, do join the parade this year. Yeah. Yes. I or mean, show please up. join the parade. So what time again and where should they go? Comment at? Comment at uh, 12, quarter 12. Quarter 12. So the parade for, kicks off at 12. Yep. With a big fanfare of fire trucks and police cars and... Woohoo! Yeah. Yay! Are they water free? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to throw a water balloon at a police officer. Well, could you imagine the <laughs> fire department? <laughs> They're gonna win every time. Yeah. <laughs> and do and are they? Do they have a musical part to their thing? Is that uh, what their sirens? The sirens. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's the closest music? to the music. It's a horrible parade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yep. For a second. Yep. All right. Well, I think we should hear the the song. Yes. Before we do anything. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Fred. Wow. <laughs> thank you, McIntyres. You're yes, welcome. We love you. having and you guys. Thank you for having us. And anytime you have an idea for a show, please give yeah. us a call. We love having right. you. Whatever yeah, you want to talk about awesome. in town, yeah. give us a call. Absolutely. Okay, you we guys will are do awesome. That. Teeth. You know, oh, septic you system. Yeah, I that. think Eileen and I want to come up and talk about septic. You should. We would <laughs> love to hear all about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that could you make do an interesting flow. And you do, oh, <laughs> or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flow. yeah, be a giant toilet with the flow. No, I, I did that one year. It's a good I really idea. Had a giant you did? Yeah, no, I did. It you had a giant toilet. The wastewater toilet? treatment plant was a big thing. Of course. That oh, that's right. Toilet. Of course. Yeah. I won. No big deal. Of course you did. <laughs> big deal. Of course you did. you have it in the middle of your mouth. We love it. Yeah. We love it. That's awesome. You don't awesome. know any of the judges? You must know the judges, so, right? Not that year. Lily and yeah. Lenny were, were, that was their last year. That was their last yeah. year. Okay. Oh. Well, we appreciate Lily Thank and Lenny. You. We appreciate yep. you guys. Thank you for yeah. sharing Thank your you. time. Any more pictures you want to show before I we go? Tons of pictures. What? I know Mike's right this here, ready like to look at some pictures. Two-story float. Oh. That was a big one. Oh. Two-story float. That was about wow. taxes being increased one year. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Increased oh, taxes. This is the girls' basketball champs one year. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that wasn't that long ago, right? Or That's was a great this an float. Older one? Maybe in I love that. Yeah. Oh. A little blurry. Yeah. Yeah. 91. 91. The voice just in the... even putting little yeah. tents, pop-up tents on there. and yeah, On the back of your trailer. Of yeah. Now, uh, does Mike Tarosian drive a fire truck during this parade? He, <laughs> he does so many. Little. He does yeah. so many different things. things. I know. He's what amazing. Does he, yeah, he or does he, he ride, does he ride his oh, Harley? Right. What's this? He's riding his Harley? Oh, Harley or his golf cart? I don't know. Oh. I can't keep yeah, track. I we've had a motorcycle. You gotta keep an eye on him. I think those TV producers make too much money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get no, double time and a half. He does a million jobs. jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else in there, stuff. or should we? 
But basically, oh, we're, we're trying we're trying to keep small town traditions alive. So thank you. The more participation, the better. And, and you know what? Please come on up. We out. will get you guys. Like we'll promote you and get yeah. them. You know, and we'll yeah. we'll get people to. Maybe we'll have a competition on the Margie and Lisa show to figure out who. It's next week. We don't have time. Not this year, next year. <laughs> oh, all I'm right. I'm talking next people, year. People make their floats like the day of. This isn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, it's like this, people but make not. your float and get down there. Yeah. 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 Order of 12. We don't care what it looks town like. Yeah. <laughs> and you might dry. Win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We'll see you 4th of July. Happy All right. We'll be back in a couple minutes. And we're back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Margie and Lisa show. We are in our second segment. Our first segment was awesome with Dan McIntyre and his daughter, Colleen Roy, talking about the Horribles Parade. Yeah, and please come down. Yep, quarter of 12. You can walk, you can to play the music. Yep. Yes, and Colleen says you mm -hmm. can invent your, your float at the last minute. Just walk and play music or decorate your bicycle or your minivan or whatever it is. And or go to the side of the road and throw water balloons at people. Or, and, or catch candy. Oh, Maybe right, people yeah. should have nets. Oh, right. Yeah, I think th I, have I think some they should. Nets. Hmm. I have some nets too. I might be down there with my net. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to talk about not such a fun topic. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but but seems to be a never-ending source of of issues. Um, this one is the Trump administration's um, proposal for the immigration ban was passed by the Supreme Court of the United States. Uh, sometimes also called SCOTUS, yeah. as in President of the United States is POTUS, which yeah. I, I think is hilarious, yeah. which I didn't know what it was, but now I do know. Um, so, sadly, um, this is going to go through. Mm -hmm. And what I heard, and please, please help us out, because yeah. I, you see I don't have piles of paper today. Yeah, me too. Have them. Yeah. But um, what I heard was <clears throat> that... The countries, it, the original immigration ban right, specified so no Muslims. It was mostly, it was and Muslims. This, but it specified in that terminology. And now this, this rewording of it has the specific countries, but mm -hmm. they're the Muslim countries. Right. So it's really targeting, I'm going to say targeting, because right. that's how it, it feels. Yeah, it is. Um, well, I mean, the same groups of people <clears throat> that, that, that there is the intention of keeping out of the country. Right. I also know that from um, El Salvador and Guatemala and Honduras, right. um, the MS-13 gang right. situation is is a real thing. There are real drug right. problems there and, and fighting, and they're fleeing right. that. So the people coming mm -hmm. in are trying to get away from right. that. Those are not the bad guys right. coming in. The MS-13 gangs are very right. happily killing and ruling yeah, you they know, don't the countryside. Come here they don't want to come here. Yeah, we have, we have much, laws and we have we police. Have guns and, and police. And, right, and they know. must have something there, but uh, <laughs> but I, I don't really know what's happening right. there. Um, so so the people coming here are not coming here because they're the bad people. Right. They're coming because they're trying to get to safety, which is well, what you know, it's America holds out to, for them. You know, what people say about immigration is like, well, they should go to that country and go through the proper channels. And I think it, it's they there can't. There are none. 
I mean, we think there's proper channels because here we have proper channels well, and the way you do yeah. it. And I mean, we do need a process on how to deal with immigration. Right. I mean, I'm from family immigrants. You're from a family. We're all. Well, we all okay. Yeah. We all, yeah. We all came here. Even the Native Americans <clears throat> right. came here at a certain point. Right. So. So, and I mean, it's, you know, but it's really hard to target a certain group. Mm -hmm. You know, it really, you, you, yeah, I understand well, the fear. Well, it's not hard to target it. It's yeah. unfair. Right. It's, it's unfair. But right. it's like, how do you, how do you just target one group? Because, I mean, well, you have bad people in every you know, and they have, you yeah. know, I mean, it seems like we have more homegrown terrorists. Of course. Than we have actual terrorists, Muslim terrorists at this point. Well, it's a, it's a very subjective yeah. thing, and I think that's where... Well, it feels that's political. That's what the problem is with it, right. Yeah, it Because feels it's a... Granted, the um, Ayatollah Khomeini and that whole, yeah. you know, that the situation that came out of Iran right. and the planes targeting the buildings. Right. And, you know... Of course that's... Bin Laden. Yeah. That whole thing is, is a real ISIS problem. And, yeah. ISIS, a real mm. problem. Um, but they're but not Muslims. You, they're taking... Right. They're, they're doing a radical form of is, uh, Islam, Islam yeah. which is not what Muslims believe. And, right. and it's actually anti-Muslim right. because Muslims right. don't believe in killing. No. They you don't. know, so so in the Quran, it doesn't say go kill people. No, it doesn't. It may say get rid of the infidel. Yeah, but that's this is a this so is does a, the Bible. I mean, in a, different that, words, well, any I mean, evil, yeah. right? <clears throat> so this is changing the good intentions of right. of one of the Abrahamic traditions, right? You know, which is the three religions that came out of the Bible. So you have Christianity, Judaism, and and, yeah. and Muslim Islam yeah. yes. all come from the Abraham tradition. Abraham. Right had children with Hagar, yeah. and those are the Muslim, yeah. and, and children with, you know, his wife Sarah, yeah. who became, um, say, the Hebrews or the Israelis, or well, then became Christian. So th they're, in fact, cousins. It's really hard to target someone. So we're from Hopkinton, okay? This is a good example. We're from Hopkinton, and they don't want to let anybody from, because we're just from Hopkinton. Is everybody in Hopkinton exactly the same and have the same beliefs and want to have the same intentions in life? And we can't go to Ashland because we're from Hopkinton. I mean, if you think of it almost that simply... Well, it's or, beyond that because yeah. these, there are people who call themselves Muslim right. who do terrible things. Sure. But back sure. In, the, in the Dark Ages... There were people who Christians. called themselves Christian yeah. who killed people in the name of Christianity. Right. And that was wrong, too. And that is not what the Bible said to do. And that was not really right. what they So people. They manipulate people what religion it. says. Exactly. And, and partly <clears throat> they may misunderstand, in fact. Right. Um, so I can understand that people can somehow think, okay, we need to keep these are all. They're all bad. But right. you're right. Just like Hopkinton, people are not all the same. In fact, we are much more diverse right. now than we ever were. Yes. You can't say all Muslims right. are the same. And my point is the Muslims <laughs> themselves, the real Muslim tradition, right. is a wonderful, right. honoring, right. you know, very good values right. coming well, out of that even tradition. Out of the it's not. It feels kind of like the Holocaust oh, a little is, bit. Oh, it is, totally. So the Holocaust, there were, and Jewish, the, one of right. my favorite, or most, the religions I have the most respect for is the Jewish religion. You know what I mean? And Just I because married into that. Yeah. I've married into well, that and tradition. Well, you lived in New York, and, and I, I had Newton. patience in exactly. that. Yeah, so, so, and I thought it was such an amazing religion because the way it honors their... Traditions. Yeah, and it's not materialistic, like, unfortunately, Christmas has turned into, and that's not Christians. I mean, well, Hanukkah is the same. Mm. Yeah, you're right. So it's not, the religion itself, because right. Christmas is not really true... Christmas isn't about the presents. Right. So that's a whole different topic. Right. We can, that's a good issue. Yeah, it is uh, a good We'll issue. talk about that. Yeah, in that we'll have that. Check, check <laughs> yeah. that list. Yeah, yeah. But so I here, mean, yeah. What, they, what they've done is they've mm. labeled this group yeah. erroneously in many people's opinion. Yeah. Just as a way of, of saying, okay, well, if we do this, we're going to be safe. This keeps everybody safe. Yeah, and if we keep the bad people out of the, the Mexican border and build the wall. Yeah. And P.S., this bill that passed sets aside 25 billion for this wall right so they're just going to find a way over or under it because yeah. they are in desperate need yeah. of escape from terror and horrors right. in their country so in the way i look at it so we have our children and i was talking to my mom about us living in hockington and how we worked hard to make money so we can live in this wonderful place and give Great our children schools, the best town. life so yes. like so if we were here and all of a sudden 
bad things started to happen. So gangs come here, you know, drugs happen here. And I'm out of here. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I mean, like, what do you do as a mother? You have to or go. Or a, fa- a father or an aunt or an uncle or whoever yep. with your family, particularly your children, you are going to do whatever you can to Protect. keep them safe. Absolutely. And I mean, like, if you walk to the border, there should be a process to... And, right. and, and by saying just Muslims, it gives you a false sense of security. Well, oh, just, not, They're not worried about the Muslims coming from the south, from yeah. the Mexican border. That's right. a different topic. No, but I mean, but just by labeling something, it is a false sense of security. It's someone that does certain actions. It's not necessarily a, a type of, you know what I mean, like a type of religion. You right, know, like exactly. It's a false sense of security. All Muslims are bad, so if we keep them out, all Mexicans yeah, no, are bad, but if we keep them that's out. That's really just ignorant. Yeah. It because is. they don't know. Ignorant well, meaning they don't know. Right. They don't really understand right. religion. They don't. They're not looking at the individuals. They're looking at it's a, a tagline or it's a, a false grouping. Right. So one thing I wanted to point out was um, in San Diego, they there's a judge. Yep. Who made a ruling that um, families should be reunited within 30 days, mm-hmm. and if they have children under five in 14 days and that's a ruling in San Diego yeah. so people coming through San Diego right. border Tijuana Mexico I know yep. it's down there which is a heavy border heavy exactly. traffic border yeah um, have to the by law now yeah. now it's a law not just a policy right um, that and they stopped deporting parents without children right unless the parent is dangerous or unfit right So if the parent clearly is not capable of taking care of the child, then they're doing what's best for the child. But really, again, what's best for the child is to keep them with the parents. We've all seen those horrible photographs of the children you know, even our children, my yeah. my daughter, oh, my daughter children too. have a hard time not you know, at that age, they didn't want to be away from sure. us for uh, a half an hour right so i can't i just can't, the whole thing every time well, i'm just not even out. really knowing because there's a language right. barrier well they don't know and they're where their leaving kids are. in fear so there's a lot of anxiety right. already but really and we talked about this last week it, or the last two weeks ago um last we week. talked about you know i where i do disaster response it makes sense to keep the family unit together of course and and i mean because they can take care of their kids we're not you and i are not going i'm not going there mm-hmm. taking care of kids you're not going there taking care of the family Families taking care of the kids. Right. They need but, to come out and go through the immigration process, go through right. court or whatever. They leave their family for an hour or five hours or whatever is needed to do that, and then they go back and take care of their family. And that that the mitigation of that risk factor of one, the kids being separated, but the amount of work and resources that are used just to make that happen, to me, make no sense. Well, they did, I mean, keep, it's, fam- it's, they did keep families together. Yeah, if right. people came as a family group yeah. of like five, yep. they kept that group together. Yep, because they that was a family. But I think what they're separating, they're taking um, if there's one individual and a child. Sometimes they're not sure. If the, that's actually the right. child, and do they have birth certificates, or is or it how someone? Do you prove it? Is it a drug lord bringing a child with him so that he's, you know, as right. a sex trafficking, as a, or, or, or just or as just a shield a, or a decoy, right. or a, you know, no, I'm, this is my child. I'm an, an innocent parent, you right. know. So they really they are trying to make sure, but right. again, and they should be coming through legally, yeah. right? So if they're not coming through the legal checkpoint, right? You know, then. The question is, why not? Right. Are they coming through this illegal way because there is something that we need to investigate? Right. So I can kind of see both sides of it. Me too. But I, but I, I, there's no reason to separate the child, and and the facilities that they have. You know, granted, there's a huge influx of people. I mean, that's right. everything. Is how do you handle <clears throat> twenty three hundred? Well, kids I would in think of me because I handle yeah. It's incredible. People in a disaster, and that's you would incredible. have a tent. Yeah. You know, I mean, the 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 cage. Uh, image is not a good one. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think seeing the other side of it, that's something they could put up quickly that would establish a, a holding area. Yeah. Not because they're against, you right. know, people treating people humanely, but how else would you do that? Right. How do you, I, I how do you how manage you would, that? Right. But then that goes back to the family units. If the family units exactly. are together, you right. have less management. I mean, really. Well, no, you'd still have to house. How do you house? Right. All of those people, whether you had mother and children mm-hmm. or you had right. children so, alone. So in shelters, what we do is yeah. they're separate. So you have single men together, single women, 
you have family units, you generally section off elderly folks or people right. that are, you know, disabled or whatever. Right. So you just put them in kind of groups, you right. know, like So like Muriel groups. was saying, it is yeah. an emergency management situation. It is. Yeah. And it didn't see, seem that way to me initially. Well, I mean, I'm but the surprised more they haven't it, even pulled us in, you know what well, I mean? Well, I think they're trying to handle it not as that. Right. Even though that's really what they have. Well, they're refugees. I mean, they're, they're refugees. They're people. Exactly. Yeah, they're I mean, fleeing danger. Not all of them, but, you right. know, but, but that's. By and large. It is, it is what it is. And that's immigration. It's been going on for thousands of years. Yeah. And in this technology and in the way we do things now and the knowledge we have on how we manage mm -hmm. people, it's not that hard. I mean, right. figure it out. And I, I mean, think that the, I think you know, that don't the, make it political. Well, that's but what the problem me. is, yeah, the, the other problem is the situation of the MS-13 gang yeah. has ramped up. Oh, yeah. That's not something that we had 20 years ago. Right. So that's a new thing and yep. there's a new reason Threat. to cause that many people to sure. flee in our direction. Well, if we had it, wouldn't we flee? Exactly. And the thing so that's is, why it's is, more now. What bothers me a little bit in the way it's discussed is that they say, well, they should know the right avenue. They don't have cell phones. Yeah, they, they don't, don't how, the how would how would they even have yep. that information? And someone say, right. hey, True. you can get through in this exactly. tunnel or McAllen, across. Texas. A yeah. lot of people getting right in there. Yeah. Because they know if you follow this and you pass, it's just like the Underground Railroad yeah. when, when Harriet yeah. Tugman was leading all the slaves out of, right. out of their terrible situation. Right. You know, you, you follow this, you turn right at the oak tree, right. you go down, you knock on right. the door. You know, so it's the same thing. Right. They, they, they have a path. That and it's been impossible. Told. I mean, I know the wall. I mean, some people that makes sense, but there's so many other places. The oh, they'll get it's, it's lead, and I it's mean, twenty-five billion dollars. Yeah. Couldn't we use that better to, to feed, manage or, feed people, or, or just manage immigration, manage the immigration, or manage the emergency <laughs> yeah. management yeah. of this situation? I mean, like it just it doesn't. The wall does not fix it. I know. And it, it's it, it's, you know. it's like a band aid, but it's not just a band aid. It's actually very offensive. Yeah. To to put a wall up. Yeah. When we are supposed to be a welcoming, right. You know, a democratic country right. as a whole. Well, no, never mind. We're the not Democrats the only the ones that welcome in refugees right. or immigrants. Exactly. We need immigrants. Right. We need people that come to work. I of mean, course. my mom and my family have been talking about Americans don't want to do a lot of the jobs and why not do it in a way that's well, yeah, easy but for people to come in here and actually work. You know what I mean? Like why not figure out a way that these folks, these families or whoever want to come do the work, how hard is it to document them. Well, there are Americans yeah. out of jobs. Yeah. Too. Oh, oh, sure. So there are people who want to work. Right. But the point is that there are people who would come into the country who are qualified to work sure. and could add to the labor force. Sure. Yeah. To, to be a, a, a help to the country right. as has always been done. That's very you know? normal. So if you think yeah. about it back in a long time ago, I think, and then this is just historical, Chinese immigrants sure. helped build the railroads. Sure. Correct yeah. and mines, right? Railroad, and mines. Railroads and mines. So, yeah. and then um, and we were pictures. just in the North End. Italians came and built exactly infrastructure. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Masons. Yeah. So, so the 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 trades that they had in the country of origin yeah. and brought with them right. only enriched our country right. as a, you know of course right. so the more to me the more diversity right. the more it's like a, a mosaic it's right. the more beautiful it is right well and it, uh, it offers an opportunity to provide a service or to provide exactly you know skilled labor to do certain i don't know how to or, make a brick wall you yeah know, i could figure it out or right. stone wall but still, well, I couldn't even change my tire because yeah. I didn't have the right equipment. And two guys came out of a building to help me today. <laughs> thank, 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 thank. And that's know. another thing. Americans are very specialized. I mean, we do certain things, and we we don't learn that hands-on stuff anymore. You know what I mean? But it, the immigration thing, the wall's not the answer. Sectioning no. out a certain religion is not the right. answer. It's much broader than that. And I think people from both sides of this political situation kind of feel the same they want kids to be safe of course they, don't, well, they want good people to come in and work exactly. they want and i think we're too caught up in the politics you're right i'm wrong you know this one's right this one's well wrong. the other it's, i think yeah. the other problem here just is, seems this is my opinion yeah that one of the one of the huge things that trump based his 
race yeah. for well, president on was yeah. I'm going to build a the wall, wall. Yeah. and then we'll bring jobs back to Americans. Right. So I understand that piece, yeah. but I think that's very simplistic. Yeah, There's a bigger problem here yeah. of trying to help people who are fleeing terrible right. situation in their own country. It's not right. they're not coming here setting, to take you know, jobs away. Well, they're coming because they face death where right, they live. Right, and setting up a s situation so they can be productive citizens like our ancestors. Exactly, of course. <laughs> you know. Right. And and you know, they buy know, stuff, they pay you know, yeah. pay taxes, they live. Well or, that's what I was gonna you know, say. That's, you set it up so it's right. not so difficult or you know, you set it up so there's a situation where like, oh no, now we have twenty three thousand people that we have to house. The other, you know. the other side of this, um, or the, I don't know if it's the other, or another side is, yeah. um, I know someone at, uh, who's a teacher in my school who worked really hard for I don't know how many years to get her citizenship. Right. And she studied, and she took yeah. the test, and I just she had took a the oath, and it, she's yeah. very proud because she's proud to be an American. Yeah. Right, and Because right. she worked on it. Yeah. And she's saying, wait a sec. I worked really hard to get this, and and these people are coming in here, and they, you know, they're not yeah. working. So I think it's, I think yeah. there are a lot of pieces that aren't right, but I think but building this wall money to is not it. fixing. Correct. Yeah. There's spend, a better way to do this. It's broader than that bandage. I think. Yeah. yeah. No, but. So if you guys at home feel, you know, if you want to add to the conversation, that's really what we're here for, not just to have us talk. Right. We um, want. We to, need your input. We would love you to let us know what you think. Um, we are done with that segment, but we'll be back to talk about the Supreme Court ruling uh, no start sorry to talk about the Supreme uh, justice anthony kelly oh no that's oh. part of this so oh. anthony kelly sorry we're not done yet oh, anthony sorry. kelly <laughs> uh, kennedy sorry yeah justice anthony kennedy who was a swing vote mm. is announcing his retirement he's 81 he's yeah. been there for 30 years right Ugh. Yeah. so now president trump is able to put in Anyone he chooses, yeah. and it has they to be approved. The party line. Ronald Reagan put um, Anthony Kennedy in, but one of the one of the things that described him was gentlemanly. Yeah. He he encouraged dignity, so he actually was a supporter and wrote the right. bill for same sex marriage. Right. And on the other hand, he he did something about Roe v. Wade to um, control that a little bit. Yeah. So he would I I respected. His ability to really look at right. the picture and decide for himself, not just vote, vote with the a party. party. Yeah, you know. I don't so, like the so I'm a little concerned, and I also that also reminds me that Obama was not allowed to put a justice in, in his term of office. He was still president, yeah. and there was a big, big, big yeah. roadblock outcry, so that he wasn't able to put anyone in. Right. So we have two Democrats, and is it seven? So yeah. we have five. One of them's, you know, the swing vote yep. Republicans going off. So it's an imbalanced um, well, and that's not Supreme democracy. Court, which should not be the case. It's We're supposed democracy. to be balanced. Yeah. So well, on that okay. note, yes. uh, very depressing, sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, we'll be back, and we're going to talk about the, ta the tariff the, situation, the, the tariff wars. Yeah. So we'll see you in a few. <laughs> This week on the Wake Up and Smell the Palm Tree, singer songwriter Alicia Scott. A big fat person with a stupid plan, panties in the street, can't get your ass away, then I'm going to be in the world with the door. Okay. We're back. <laughs> Welcome back. 
<laughs> Usually the corner office gives us a little heads up, but that's okay. And we're off time because we, yeah. we, we, we okay. really liked talking about the Horribles Parade. Yes, so. it was not horrible at all. It was great. Yeah, it was. So, um, as is the parade. So now we're going to talk about the tariff wars. Yep. And so please, guys, please call in. Yep. Give us your opinion. Give Let us, us opinion. know what you know Give us some info it. because, again, I don't have a lot of paper here today. Sometimes I do. Um, what I know is that Trump said it's basically well if you won't do this we won't do this right you know you know I'm gonna take my toy and go home right so that can be effective right I understand the approach well, and I, you it's don't want inequality I mean, right but it's making you, a deal it's a negotiation it's but, not a my way or the highway right. but his whole to me the whole emphasis was let's bring the jobs back yeah okay but We've got Harley Davidson going moving moving overseas its, because it's in, importing the material, the yeah. steel. They right. don't they have tariff on steel imports right. because he's trying to give the business to Pittsburgh right. steel. I understand that, but then Harley Davidson saying, "Well, we steel costs more here. Yeah, we're gonna go over there." Right. So oops, who won on that one? Exactly. Yeah. And then soybeans. Yep. Um, we have soybean farmers here. Yeah. Because. There's a ta There's now a tariff. They'll buy on, soybeans from they're out gonna, of the U.S. So if we're, if yeah. we're giving a tariff to people buying soybeans from us, from Asian countries, for example, yep. they're going to go elsewhere. Yep. They can grow soybeans in India. Yeah. They can grow soybeans Canada. Other where, countries. Yeah. You just need farmland. Yeah. Um, Russia, and then wherever, yeah. I think I feel like there was some something with cranberries. I'm not sure. Yeah, cranberries. Um, there was also something on. Um, like wine, yep, steel and wine, and, and then there's a, obviously aluminum's a big one. Aluminum, the, you know, that's I saw something about polar. Um, they're like we're gonna have to push it on to, you know, but it's I think unfortunately with the way he's trying to negotiate, he's not looking at the big picture. Right, exactly. Like he sees it's this one little one deal, piece of it, one little deal, and you don't realize how it's gonna affect. And I don't think that's his intention. I just think it's it feels like I it's think well honestly I think he's a good negotiator in business right clearly but government well, although I, I also have to say he sometimes seems to do it by declaring bankruptcy and I'm not sure that's <laughs> right good an business. honest way to declare right. to do business morally right but but the thing here where you're where you're trying to negotiate by saying well right and we're not gonna let you have this unless you do this that doesn't always work right you know sometimes you got to take the high road right which is what, in my humble opinion, I think America has tried to do. Right. We have been a world leader right. because we have taken the high road. Well, we it's made us example. wealthy. Exactly. It's made so us wealthy. So now, if, if other countries are perceiving us as a country, as a whole, because the president is kind of is the leader of our country. But he's and not running voted it. For, but he's not running it like a democracy But I'm anymore. saying that yeah. people on the outside looking at our country all those other world powers, Germany, yeah. you know, China, Japan, other world leaders, right. Russia, are yeah. saying what, it's in disarray. Yeah. There's divisiveness. And they are not agreeing with each other. That looks like weakness. It does look like weakness. So we, and it's an opportunity for other countries to exactly. either grow businesses that counteract an action yeah. that we do, yeah. or it's it's an opportunity for them to exploit something. Right. You know what I mean? But it, it's unfortunate because, it, it, like you said, in business, it's, it's smaller. It's a smaller venue yeah. and now we have a world market that affects right. the impact is everybody. different yeah it's different right. and it's not, it's not like it same, doesn't run like business same business the, the business model for what works yeah. with corporations is not the business model that works with the country especially if the country is the leader right. in many ways right. you know in the world so so my you know what i've what i've observed is this is just my opinion and my observation um angela merkel mm -hmm. of Germany. Germany seems to be very level-headed, yep. intelligent, um, diplomatic, yep. uh, well-spoken person. Right. Justin Trudeau yes. also very. is saying, I am not going to negotiate in this manner. Right. This doesn't seem to me to be the way leaders but talk even, to each even other. But even what he's proposing really doesn't help Americans. No. I mean, that that's the problem is that the things he's brought forward right. is not necessarily, there may be some inequality, but on the other hand, there's some 
That's the way trade works. And in, in for, we are a global economy. We're right. not just exactly. the United States. We Now we are a global economy. Right. So you have to work you have to negotiate. You have to play nice. Yeah, or, or, or just come to don't don't have be hard and fast. I mean, because then people you won't open the door to have the conversation to maybe sure. negotiate a better deal. Yeah. Well, we're only doing it this way, and and you can't do that, and you can't make a decision unilaterally. I couldn't do that no. in my world. You can't do that in your world. Right. Well, we get in trouble if we yeah. do. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's not it's not how things work. It's not for the best interest no, of everybody. I not mean, you all. own a company. The America's not a company. No. And you know, it's, he's it's, offending people. Right. So if you offend someone, right. they're less likely to anticipate a good response from you right. the next time you right. have a, a, a conversation. Right. So he has offended repeatedly people, right. you know. And, and, and called for. And, and, and called for. Yeah. And apparently, I mean, I have to say, watching what happened with Korea, North Korea, yeah. the North Korean leader yeah. does a similar thing. Yeah. But he's a dictator. Right. And he's, what, 30? I yeah. don't know. So... So this, it's a different type of government there. Right, but it, it works because Trump it, is behaving in a similar way. Right. Do we want to have but it's a leader not working. who behaves? He's, he's screwing up that negotiation, well, that's, too. Well, of course. And you we know? don't really know because he didn't, he didn't ask for any benefits to us, and there are agreements yeah. that we're not sure we can actually right. uh, verify. Right. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's and government needs to move slower. I mean, you can't just make a decision. There's well, wild, efficiently, yeah, and but efficiently, but you need carefully. other eyes carefully looking. You bring people into right. your world or something as large as the United States. You need other areas right. of expertise right. to come in, checks and balances, yeah, and say, yep. "Well, I think this verification, is, yeah, yeah, conversation, not just someone tweeting." And it's a contract. Decisions I being mean, made. Uh, yeah, like it's very concerning. Yeah, and it's well, it's just not. It's not good business, or <laughs> no, good policy, or good government, or good leading. Correct. You know, yeah. It, it's, so hopefully, I mean, I'm always hopeful. That's me, the optimist. Yeah. That sometimes good things come out of what looks like a mess. Right. But, and they do. There will be good things know, so. that may come out of this, but you know, a lot of times it feels like it's not working that way. Correct. You know, and, and, I, and the the stuff they put forward with immigration, then all of a sudden they change it. Yeah. I mean, there there are so many things like that. You and know? on that note, we are going to hope for the best, and yep. we wrap it off now. See you next time. Yep. Thank yeah. you.